Donald Trump and Eric Adams' remarks on illegal immigration and political corruption tap into deep public concerns about the integrity of the justice system, the strain immigration places on American cities, and the role political leaders play in addressing these crises. Trump's rhetoric stirs empathy, highlighting feelings of frustration and helplessness in the face of perceived corruption and social decay. He frames both himself and Adams as courageous truth-tellers, punished for daring to confront uncomfortable realities and emotionally charged narratives. Thank you. I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know the mayor well, but he's been fairly generous to me in his uh, statements for a while. I thought you had the worst mayor ever that we had prior to him. Uh, I will say this. I watched about a year ago when uh, he talked about how the illegal migrants are hurting our city and the federal government should pay us and we shouldn't have to take them. And I said, you know what? He'll be indicted within a year. And I was exactly right. Because that's what we have. We have people that use the Justice Department and the FBI at levels that have never been seen before. So I wish him luck. I don't know anything about what he did, but I told a lot of group, a lot of people right over there, that group was saying, you know, sir, you were right about that. When they mentioned that, I said, they came in and he, he was pretty strong about it. He said, this is really unfair to make us carry this burden. We shouldn't be doing this. This is New York City. I mean, your parks are loaded up. I just passed recently Madison Avenue, the Roosevelt Hotel. It's like nobody would recognize it. That's Midtown. But he came out very strongly against it. He was right, by the way, because it's ruining our country. He was honest. And I said, he will be indicted within a year. And that's what happened. And I noticed the indictment's very old. It goes back a long time. Well, I had the same thing. They, got, they went way before the statute of limitations. So I wish him well, but I, I said that he will be indicted because he did that. You take a look, that's what they do. These are dirty players. These are bad people. They cheat and they uh, do anything necessary. These are bad people. And we need an honest Justice Department. We need an honest FBI. And we need it fast. Yeah. Trump's assertion that Eric Adams could be prosecuted for speaking out against illegal immigration cuts to a fundamental fear about the justice system's fairness. Trump's claim that the Department of Justice and the FBI are being used as political tools suggests that these institutions are corrupt, weaponized to target those challenging the status quo. This speaks to a widespread anxiety that justice itself is eroding, that the legal system no longer serves impartiality but punishes dissenters. In a democracy, when justice is perceived as compromised, fear takes root, people feel that the very foundation of fairness and equality is crumbling. The idea that a political figure can be prosecuted for simply opposing government policy feeds into the belief that personal freedoms are under siege by a corrupt elite. This narrative reflects core conservative values, individual responsibility, fairness, and transparency in governance. Trump's portrayal of Adams, facing legal issues after criticizing illegal immigration, fits neatly into this framework. Adams, in Trump's telling, is a leader willing to take personal risks by confronting uncomfortable truths. This taps into a broader conservative mindset that values leaders who stand up to the establishment, even at the expense of personal or legal repercussions. Trump paints both himself and Adams as figures willing to bear the burden of truth-telling in a world where doing so invites attacks from the very system they are trying to challenge. His assertion that illegal immigration is ruining your country and that New York City is unfairly bearing the brunt of accepting immigrants speaks to long-standing conservative fears about immigration. For many, illegal immigration represents a threat not just to national security, but also to economic stability and cultural cohesion. Trump's references to Madison Avenue and the Roosevelt Hotel highlight this narrative of urban decline suggesting that immigration is overwhelming American infrastructure, pushing cities to the brink of collapse. At its core, this fear reflects a deeper anxiety about the country's future. When people feel that their communities and resources are slipping out of their control, helplessness and unease follow. The belief that political leaders 
are either unwilling or incapable of addressing the root causes of these issues only amplifies the feeling that societal collapse is imminent. Trump's message resonates with the conservative value of national sovereignty, reinforcing the idea that the government's primary duty is to protect its citizens by enforcing immigration laws and maintaining order. 